So I just made a, um, a new build um, using Arctic Zephyr. Now this is a Plex build. So it's um, integrated with my Plex using Plex Cody Connect. So I just wanted to show you guys um, how it looks and what you can do with it a little bit. So for example, in movies, in progress shows these, this and this are two widgets that I put in here that are specifically for my Plex stuff. Now I also did the movie sets as well. As you can see down below here though, uh, most popular I pulled from an actual add-on. So it's um, you can integrate the two. You can have your own personal library on your Plex and you can also use add-ons as well. So I did the same thing with TV. I've got recently added episodes, recently added TV. I also integrated um, in progress episodes, I haven't watched anything yet. This is a fresh build, so um, the category is not showing, but it will if you watch something. Um, TMDB. Um, I just did a trending for movies and a trending for TV. Now, all of these have um, side menus as well as the widget. I added, um, you know, all the different add-ons that I have in here. They're, um, they're movie sections, so you can go directly there. TV shows did the same thing. Uh, TMDB um, it has its own generalized um, um, submenu, so I, I like that as well. I kept that alone. Add-ons. Uh, the the main menu comes up with just these, these all these bottom ones. So I added this one as well, add-ons, because that'll that'll take you directly to the screen. Which for some reason in this um, in this skin, it's not super easy to get to. I mean, you could go to settings, but so I added that as well. So settings, you could go here, but I just liked the whole quick go and be done. So settings, I, um, as you can see, I changed backgrounds and stuff. I thought settings looked sharper. I changed the look of these. So I thought the settings looked darker, just like, or just better black. Whereas these ones, I, I made this, um, I made this one. So hold on one second. This background because I thought it kind of looked good. It looked good with all the movies and TVs because it's not too in your face. Um, power menu. One thing, cool thing about this skin is you can change the power menu. Um, I believe it's in interface settings. Maybe not. Right here. If you go to miscellaneous, you can go down to customize power menu. And that's where you can move things around. For example, um, reload skin. If you're a skinner, it's nice to have that at the top. Uh, for me, right now, I'm going to, oops. You can, um, I like it also at the bottom because it's quick to get to. You can turn off stuff you don't use. So I don't remove it. I just disable it. Uh, reboot, I'm going to disable that as well. So you'll see that when you go to, and it's just rewriting right now. So when you go to power, it's, it's more like how you want it. So another cool thing about um, settings here too is that, okay, for example, your search, normally what your search will come up with is, because I have um, TMDB helper installed, the search only comprised of TMDB helper and YouTube. So you can customize your search and what add-ons you're using for your search by going back once again to the interface settings. Sorry, uh, these settings go back to miscellaneous and you can see right down here by um, the power menu thingy, you can also have search lists. Now here's all your search lists. This is what will pop up for you. Now, for example, I want to add my library. So I'm going to add my library for movies and for TV shows. So all you got to do to add your Plex as a search engine is go to default search items and you click on movies. That's for the library. This one, click on TV. So I'm going to move that to the top. And I don't like that. OCD. I like my capital V. Okay. So as you can see, I've got my library movies will be searched my TV shows will be searched and then it'll go to TMDB. So let's go back out. So now when you go to search, you 
pick whatever you want, like the flash. And as you can see, I have the flash in my library. Now down here you got TMDB. Once again, you'll have the flash if you wanted to watch it in an add-on. Um, all you've got to do is make sure your TMDB helper is linked to um, all the add-ons you have installed. Make sure they all have players, which they should. The ones I have have players anyway. So, for example, I set um, my TMDB to automatically default to um, play with Shadow. So if I was to click the flash right now in TMDB Movies, Shadow will automatically play it. Whereas if I click here, it'll it'll go to my library. So I yeah, hope, hopefully you guys like this. It's just it's, it's kind of plain, but it's kind of pretty at the same time. I just like the look of it, and I like that I have everything nice and close at hand. Um, these I use TMDB lists, so any of these that are played will be played. For example, for me with Shadow. So hopefully you like that. Um, it's pretty easy to do. A uh, little bit of work, but it's you know you can build a part of it, save it, and then you mess around. And if you screw anything up, I just grab my older version, pop it back in again, and start fresh. Like for example, I just grabbed this for my wizard, but um, as you can see, I had made an up. I had well, you can't see because I made an updated version that had the included search for my library but I hadn't pushed it, so I just added it now. It was actually probably good because now you guys saw how it worked. Okay, so hopefully you like that. Um, Arctic Skin, thank you to the developer. Um, thank you to the developer of all the add-ons. And uh, if you have a Plex server, it is a wonderful way to integrate your library.